NATO has no idea on how to close Ukrainian sky. Business Insider. The West already has an effective model for protecting Ukraine from Russian air attacks. This model was clearly demonstrated during the Iranian attack on Israel in April, writes the American edition of Business Insider. Former NATO Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen in particular expressed the conviction that interceptor missiles can be launched from the territory of NATO member states neighboring Ukraine, such as Poland and Romania, to cover at least the western Ukrainian regions. According to Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung, both the ruling and opposition parties in Germany express support for the idea of protecting the regions of Ukraine bordering NATO. For example, Roderick Kaiswetter, a politician from the opposition Christian Democrat Union and a former officer in the Bundeswehr's general staff compared Ukraine's defense to the West's efforts to prevent 300 missiles and drones fired by Iran in April from hitting Israel. Western countries could protect part of Ukraine's airspace near NATO territory and shoot down Russian drones and missiles. This would reduce the burden on the Ukrainian air defense and allow them to protect the front. As in the case of Israel, where France, Great Britain and others helped, they would not have become warring parties, Kaiswetter said in a comment to Business Insider. This opinion is shared by former NATO Secretary General Rasmussen. The idea to create a no-fly zone over part of Ukraine belongs to the Munich Security Conference expert Nico Lang and the former Assistant Secretary General of NATO, Lieutenant General Horst Heinrich Braus. As Lang stated, Closing the sky over Ukraine would allow creating a safe zone up to 70 kilometers wide on the state's border, relieving air defense forces in other areas of the front. The Su-27 supersonic fighter was damaged as a result of the attack of the armed forces of Ukraine on the military airfield Kashovska. This is reported by the Russian media ASTRA. Recall, on the night of May 19, the Crimean Peninsula was hit by rocket attacks of the Ukrainian army. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced that the Atakms missiles were repelled by the air defense system. But Ukraine states that at least three missiles were not shot down and hit the territory of the military airfield in the town of Kushchevsk, Krasnodar territory, on the night of May 19. As a result of the attack, a fire broke out, the Russian Su-27 supersonic fighter and the infrastructure of the airfield were damaged. According to other information, at the airfield, intelligence of Ukraine worked together with the forces of unmanned systems of the armed forces of Ukraine. Russians on social networks complained about a series of explosions and fires at night, and one even cried, they blew up our bush. At this airfield there were dozens of different planes that attack Ukrainian positions at the front, Su-34, Su-25, Su-27, MiG-29. This is the second drone attack on the Kushchevska military airfield and the Slovensk refinery in the last three weeks. At that time, Several planes were hit at the airfield, and the refining and atmospheric columns were hit at the refinery. Furthermore, on the night of May 19, there was a drone attack on the Slavyank oil refinery in the Krasnodar region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is said that the drone belonging to Ukraine fell on the territory of the factory and exploded. As a result, a fire broke out in the plant and its activity was suspended for a while. No casualties are reported. In addition, it is said that during the night there was a strong explosion and fire at an oil base in Vyborg, Leningrad region, Russia. It is not known what caused the explosion.